So I did a workflow previously to uh, create a collection for back in stock products. Turns out to be quite complicated to actually sort by back in stock date because you can't sort by a meta field or anything like that. So here's how we did it. You do it by sorting uh, manually, and then we can do a little API call in our workflow that uh, moves, uh, that changes the sort order, changes the manual sort order. So that's how we did it. All right, so here's the workflow. Triggers on inventory level updated. And here's where you're gonna pick your collection. You wanna do a smart collection. And then it's going to grab some stuff. And what we're doing is we're saving the inventory levels here in our data store, in our database. And that allows us to keep track of when something comes back in stock. So we've got the previous inventory level when this, when this inventory level update happens. And then if the previous inventory level is below zero and the current inventory level is greater than zero, then we say, okay, back in stock. All right, so we're saving that in the database and we're also saving it as a meta field. Now the meta field, we're saving a timestamp integer which looks a little bit like this. Anyways, the reason why we need that is because in order to define this collection, you cannot define it on a date field. You can't define a smart collection with a date field. So we're we got to use that integer field here in the definition of the smart collection. And then here's where we're changing the sort order. Okay. And then saving the back in stock date just for good measure. Uh, not really using it here, but it's good to have. It's a nice to have. A couple other nice to haves. I'm just saving the SKUs in here. It makes it easy to see what's what. And also the inventory item ID makes it easy to see. If you're going in and testing like I'm going to do now, you can go, okay, wait, which one am I looking at here? Uh, 4289, 420. Okay, that's this one. All right, so start that test. So I tricked it temporarily. I set that available to zero just for testing purposes. And then it's going to go, cool. Conditions all passed. Current inventory is positive. Current inventory is three. And previous inventory was zero. So it's going to say, cool, it's going to reset the stuff last in stock. And then it should, when I refresh this, move it to the top of the list. Boom, just like that. So yeah, that's how it works. As usual, you can install these on the automation demos section of the site. Pop over here to download that template.